Hi guys, welcome to Hiking with Charlotte. I'm Charlotte and today I'm going hiking for the first time in a while. So I'm in the car, my car, my, my bag is packed, route is planned and I'm ready to go. So I'll meet you there, I'll see you in a bit. This is the start of this route, I don't know where it's taken me. Who's just come to see me? Hello. Oh, you're gorgeous. Are you gorgeous? Yes. Got some friends coming as well. Yeah. I'm going that way. Are you coming with me? Are you staying here? I believe that's just happened. There's horses in the background have just been chasing me and following. Very curious. Oh, stunning. Now if that isn't a mental health boost then I really don't know what is. Because I'm absolutely beaming. I can't believe that's just happened. I think horses have I've got uh, some kind of intuition. I certainly believe that they have a, a healing nature to them. I'll have to do some research about that, but that was just incredible. I saw them in the other field and went over the turnstile and then they came running round from that field into this field that I'm in now and just came galloping past me and um, looking back and you know trying to get me to like chase them as well. I, well I hope it was like that um, or it's just I might not have well I hope it's not them telling me to get out of their field. Um, I'm gonna have to bring some carrots now on my next on my next hike in case anything like that happens because I do think they wanted something from me but I was empty handed I'm afraid but that's just brilliant that's just oh, the, that's just the start of the hike I'm like five minutes in and that's just happened it's just brilliant so if that doesn't get you wanting to go hiking then well stick with me I'll show you some more <laughs> I'll speak to you in a bit <laughs> oh, unbelievable
got to keep thinking it's worthwhile. I might be sweating, I might look ridiculous, I don't care. But when you've got, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, that staring at you as you're climbing, that's where I want to be. And I've got up there to go. I do it. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> he's enjoying himself. If you didn't hear him, he's cheering as he's going down. Woo! Looking red now. Right, I'm going. Oh God! Come on. We oh, could do it. Guys, I don't know if you can see a load of tourists. Oh, just walked past me. Are you there when you do that? <sighs> and then you, you like just burst out of breath because you don't want to embarrass yourself and look unfit. That's what I've just done. Seasoned ache of me. <laughs> oh God. Oh, they were lovely there. I think they was from like Asia. Uh, China or Japan or something. Something around there anyway. There was one lady wearing it looked like a really long tutu skirt. <sighs> Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can't believe I've just done that. Hold my breath and pretended like I'm really fit. <laughs> oh God. But that's it up there. I've come from somewhere down there. So not much longer, I don't think. Just still got this road to get up. Look at her back. Do panoramic. Stunning. And it's the weather's just perfect. Oh, car coming. <laughs> um, maybe a bit too hot for me, but. I can just see someone stood right on the edge. I don't think I'll get it on this. He's literally got his arms out. Yeah, that's what I'll be doing there. I'll be with you soon, mate. <laughs> All right, let's get cracking. for a change or grassland um, they've got the heather growing I don't know if I can find any of it but I've seen it I don't know if it'll pick it up but I'll have to I'll record some when I see it again. I thought I'd see more of it. 
So yes, I'm just taking a breather. I get really dry mouth with the medication that I'm on. Oh, it's awful. So I just uh, got to get up here. I'll just come somewhere over there. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's lovely. Apart from the distant um, traffic, it's dead quiet. And it's just that, oh god, ah, my back. Back's twinging, god. Um, yeah, it's just like a light breeze and that sun's really strong. That light breeze just just making it bearable, so it's just enjoyable. So yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna have a few more sips of water and then uh, get cracking on. <sighs> Beautiful. Just looking over there, there's, there's an edge over there. I can't remember which one it is. There's loads of edges to be fair. And doing the nine edges. I think it's 23 miles in total. Maybe next year when I'm a bit more fitter, do some more walks. <laughs> yeah, it's done. It's really peaceful.
see. Let's do a panoramic. That's beautiful. Put my job on because it's just got a bit nippy. With the sweating, you get a bit cold. I don't want to catch the chill. But uh, I've come to get the sunset, and um, it's currently, if I can, there you go, be out in that cloud. So I might not get it. just a bit in front of me now. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit funny about where I am. I don't know if you can pick it up. Oh, in the camera. Let's see if I can see. I point my arm. Somewhere there is the concrete. I think it's a concrete factory. It's some kind of factory anyway. Um, which is Castleton and whenever, if you can see that then that means that the hill there is Mantor no, yeah, yeah Mantor <laughs> um, which I've done I've done a sunrise for Mantor lovely. I know there was, there was loads of people out like, must have been like five o'clock in the morning. I think I set off on my house at about half past three. Let's go and catch the sun rise. <laughs> Let's think then, because I'm here for the sunset. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I'm going to keep on walking. I'm getting hungry now. I've not had anything to eat yet. Um, and I wanted to eat and set the camera up to try and get the sunset but overlooking Lady Bower so I'm going to keep on walking because I've still got plenty of time yet and hopefully that cloud does one <laughs> probably not there so we'll see
It guys, got my coat on now. Sun has set. Got chatting to a few people whilst I was up here, interested in the kit that I've got with my tripod. Um, so I was just talking to them about what they use and how often they come to the Peach District and guess what fellow northerners like me they were from Yorkshire from Rotherham so yes yeah, so it was nice to meet and speak to them about cameras and wild camping different places where we've hiked in the Peak District. That's what I love about going out hiking, doesn't matter who you bump into, everybody's willing to talk and say hi. So you never really learn. So I'm just going to make the trek back now, I hope I get back in time before it's fully dark. And uh, I'll speak to you in a bit when I get back to the car or maybe if I flip the camera on or I'm running out of battery. And guess what? I want to arrange my next hike. Where do you think I should go? Why don't you tell me in the comments where I should go next time? Any suggestions where you'll think I'll like? Give me some inspiration. Got the bug. ready for it. Ready for the next one. <laughs> God, 
this now. I've just walked through that. Um, yeah. So I thought I'd come on in case it's too dark when I get back to my car. And just say, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for coming along with me if you're new here. It's been really nice having you with me whilst you've been watching. And if you're returning, it's lovely to see you again. I hope you're all okay. And most importantly, take care of yourselves and each other and your loved ones. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, leave any comments with any questions, now we'll get back to you. Um, also, any suggestions of where I should go on my hike next? I've got the bug, so I need to plan where I'm going. So where would you like me to take you? Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to go home now. I'm going to go do some self-care because I haven't actually done any self-care whilst I've been out here, which is what I normally do. Um, but I forgot to bring my journal. I was too excited. I just packed everything and forgot a few things. But at least I did it, which is the main thing. I haven't been out in months and now I've done it. So I'm really, really proud of myself now. I've done it. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to go home, I'm going to have a really nice hot bubble bath, a bit of self-care, probably a bit of meditation and breath work, just to calm me down and appreciate what I've just done, and then go to bed because I haven't been going to bed until like early hours in the morning just recently, so I need to start going to bed at a normal time. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, thumbs up, please. If you like what I'm doing, you might as well hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time on Hiking with Charlotte. Take care. Bye. Bye bye bye. Bye bye.